Okay, hello. So, when I did the perplexus stand, <laughs> uh, somebody asked about these. Um, you know, these are all my Mattel Electronics games in the newer versions. That's what those are. So, um, when I stated in another video I have OCD, I meant no harm to anyone who has it worse than I do. What my OCD does to me is it causes me to have to organize things repeatedly. So, um, all the Xbox games have to be together, all the Xbox One, all the Switch games. Then, you know, we go through the Scooby-Doo videos, and they have to be organized by my standards. So, they may not be organized by year, but they're organized the way I need them to be organized, if that makes any sense. So, uh, somebody said, well, what is on that shelf? Uh, a Mega Bruiser, the biggest jawbreaker ever made. It's like the size of a softball. Yeah. And then, um, I don't have a whole lot of Xbox games because I did the thing other people didn't want to do back then is downloaded them. So, yeah, I have, uh, some Xbox 360, some Xbox One, and some Switch games. All the Scooby-Doo's ever made. So this is um, childhood obsession with me because Scooby-Doo and I are the same age. So from here, uh, I'm sorry, pointing my finger and not the uh, phone. From here... Uh, all the way to here. So, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's every Scooby-Doo ever, uh, released. Yeah. So, you know, I also like Lego, so we've got some Ninjago, and we've got some Goosebumps, and, you know, childhood happiness kind of stuff. Of course, you know, I've got the Blu-rays, which most of the Blu-rays are down here. Now, some of those are in a case that is not the standard Blu-ray case because they were not always issued in standard cases. Oh my gosh. So then you got the Archie comics. Yeah. Cause you know, that's another fatal addiction. This is like a quarter of my collection of Archie comics. Then we go into television shows. Yeah. So, uh, you got I Love Lucy, The Partridge Family, Saint Elsewhere, which um, if somebody were to say to me, uh, you've got 24 hours to live, what TV show would you watch? Saint Elsewhere. And that's where I'd like to be. Perfect show. So we got Friends and Dawson's Creek and Square Pegs and Gidget and Saved by the Bill and a whole bunch of Power Rangers. Then on the next shelf, we got uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Spider-Man. We start moving into comics. Ooh, let's not forget about Ernest, because, you know, I've got all the Ernest movies, because they're just stupid fun. Then on the bottom shelf, I've got some stuff that is just uh, feel-good stuff. You know, feel-good, like uh, Phantasm. That should make you feel good. Gremlins. Uh, the Wizard of Oz. Bolt. Um, Birdman. So some of these things don't match. They don't, some of these things are not like the others, but these are feel good movies. So that's where they are. Yeah. And uh, we got all the Harry Potter movies, of course. Then we've got some more weird stuff over here Northern Exposure, Doctor Who, Batman. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, weird stuff. So, that is, uh, and this shelf, this crazy little shelf right here, is reserved for what I have watched recently. So, you know, I did my Lord of the Rings thing again, Blade Runner, V, because everybody thinks there are reptile people, there are not, but V might make you think there are, uh, Tombstone, Monty Python, Search for the Holy Grail, Dead Tension, one of the best movies ever. Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, also one of the best movies ever. Uh, you know, I'm not really crazy about the new Star Wars. Sorry, don't like it too much. Jumanji, one of my favorite movies ever. I could watch this every day. And I don't even like hockey. 
Slapshot, I can tell you stories about that. Okay, so that's what's on the shelf. Yeah, and it's, um, it's organized where it makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, thanks.